Tim, did you say a timeline for when the implosion is going to happen, or when should we expect The contract that? is, uh, say, in nine weeks, uh, and we will push and hold them accountable to it. I talked about uh, several times before, every morning we hold a, a command and general staff meeting with all the parties. Today was the first time that that uh, contractor was at the meeting, and they will be at every meeting going forward, as will the engineers who are planning it. There's a seismologist that's being brought on board, and once again, as our, our uh, engineer is going to help us and assist us in that. So nine weeks for the implosion to happen. We how believe long nine weeks is what they're telling to get us. Everything out What's of the that? area. How, how long for the cleanup? After clean that? up about three months, and then haul all the, all the debris away. Remember that involves number one, as soon as it comes down, victim recovery, and two, collection of evidence. WWWDSU. <laughs> Uh, I, I think I'll leave that till we get a little bit more information from the uh, engineers and the contractor. As I said, today was the first meeting with them. They said about nine weeks. So, and then they actually have been, uh, uh, although they weren't under contract yet, they've been here since last week. We were told starting to evaluate, uh, use, looking at the blueprints, I should say, not here in, at the facility, but looking at the blueprints of this building to decide how they were going to do it, the engineers have. And so they've developed their plan, and we will keep you all up to date. I can't comment on exactly how that, that implosion will come down, but I'm sure we'll have more information as they uh, get that plan in our hands.